ChatGPT is scary good. According to the UBS study release, ChatGPT from OpenAI is believed to have amassed over 100 million active users just two months after its release, making it the fastest growing consumer application in history. Hello everyone, welcome to today's session in ChatGPT 4 versus ChatGPT 3.5. In today's session, we are going to be talking about what is the comparison between the ChatGPT 4, which is the latest version, versus ChatGPT 3.5. So let's get ahead. But before that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, if you're looking for certification and ChatGPT courses, please do check out the link given in the description. So let's move ahead. Talking about the latest AI, GPT-4 is 10 times more sophisticated than ChatGPT 3.5, which is its predecessor. This enhancement in ChatGPT-4 enables the model to recognize subtleties and learn the context more thoroughly, which results in replies that are more accurate and consistent. So what makes ChatGPT-4 different? So guys, in terms of language expertise, while ChatGPT 3.5 can create language that appears to be written by a person, GPT-4 is even more adept at comprehending and producing different local languages and also resolving the emotions of the text. For instance, GPT-4 can detect sorrowness or annoyance shown by the user and respond with empathy, making the conversation feel more intimate and real. One of the GPT's most amazing abilities is the capacity to work with local languages which are based on culture and geography. Next, when we talk about data organizing, ChatGPT4 can combine data from several sources to make sense of complicated topics, whereas ChatGPT3.5 could have trouble making connections. Unlike 3.5, GPT4 now has a function that enables it to correctly write sources while writing text. For example, when asked about the relationship between the fall in bee population and the impact of world agriculture, GPT-4, for instance, can respond with more detail by referring several researchers and sources. Next, in terms of consistency, where GPT-3.5 can produce creative contents, ChatGPT-4 goes one step further by producing story, poetries, or essays with enhanced consistency and inventiveness. For instance, where ChatGPT 3.5 may struggle to maintain narrative and consistency, GPT 4 is able to write short story with a strong storyline and character development. Next, when we talk in terms of complicated problem solving, GPT 4 shows a strong ability to solve difficult scientific and mathematical problems going beyond the capabilities of GPT 3.5. For instance, GPT 4 outperforms GPT 3 in the simulation of chemical reaction and the resolution of challenging calculus problems. It can perform a wide range of mathematical operations, including calculus, algebra, geometry, and also subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, and astronomy. These are the scientific disciplines for which ChatGPT 4 has been trained. Thanks to the sophisticated processing capacity and language modeling abilities, it can quickly analyze complex scientific writings and offer insights and explanations. Lastly, when we talk about the aspect of understanding images and graphics, GPT-4 can analyze and remark graphics and images, as opposed to GPT-3.5, which mostly concentrates on text. Because it can, for example, define substance of a picture and spot trends in a graph, and also even create captions for the picture. For this, GPT-4 is an effective tool for education and content development. Additionally, GPT-4 has a maximum token limit of 32,000 words, which is much more than GPT-3.5's 4,000 tokens. Or you can tell, 3,125 words. So guys, these are quite the benefits of GPT-4 over GPT-3.5. So finally guys, let's talk about how to install ChatGPT-4. So to get ChatGPT-4, you will need to have the paid version of the site, okay? So for that, you have to install ChatGPT+. Here's how you get the subscription. Firstly, what you can do is type ChatGPT4 on Google or you can go to chatgpt.openai.com to access the ChatGPT website. So once you go to the website, you will have an option for ChatGPT Plus which will lead you immediately to ChatGPT4 and you can have access to it. Also to upgrade if you don't already have the premium version, you can choose Upgrade to Plus from the sidebar. 
which will allow you to upgrade your plan as per the requirement. So guys, this is all about ChatGPT4 and also I've given some comparison between the ChatGPT4 versus ChatGPT 3.5. So stay tuned for further updates on ChatGPT4 and like always, happy learning and thank you for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!